The lessons from 2007 were very hard um, and they were learned by the people who, who run most media houses in, in Kenya. In cancelling the tender that they did, the, the IEBC did a very brave thing. Whether it's uh, brave on uh, edging on the side of stupidity, that really remains to be seen. I see a very bold, very decisive IEBC taking steps to try and um, recover some of the credibility that was lost by the last electoral body. But as long as there is any, any connection between uh, the electoral body and partisan politics, then that will not fly with the Kenyan public. I don't know whether I should be afraid or not, knowing that a voter registration is just a component of the voting process. Eventually what will count is what will happen at the ballot, but if they don't get it right at the, voting, uh, the voter registration process, then they could set up a whole problem. The greatest impact may not be on the quality of the election, but on the, on the public confidence in the body that is execu executing the election, because I think that would take us to a place almost similar to where we were in 2007. Because in 2007, uh, while the audit done by the Krigler Commission proved that there were many mistakes and a lot of incompet incompetencies exhibited by the Commission throughout that period, the biggest problem there was in that election was the confidence the people had in, in the Commission. It's always good for any processes to be deemed to be of integrity and Kenyans to have confidence uh, in them, uh, such as the procurement of uh, the BVR. Not only that, but the entire electoral preparation uh, processes, be it voter registration, procurement of the kids, appointment or uh, hiring of people to supervise uh, the elections, they must be done in a way that's transparent and uh, open. skill as a photographer to agitate for change and as a tool for social change. It's the battle of hearts and minds. How can we change people's perception about the leaders that we have? And so using art is our tool to do that. The Volta is a character that we came up with. Uh, the Volta depicts the leaders that we have in this country. And so we came up with a narrative. Instead of talking about all oh, corruption, corruption and corrupt leaders, uh, we give them a name, the Vultures, because of the way they behave, uh, their greedy ways, then they take advantage of the poor, the way they steal our taxes, and we thought the vulture is an animal that comes closest to them because of the way they're gluttonous, they're greedy, and they prey on the weak. Whether they'll be violent is really up to the Kenyan public as well as journalists to interpret that in that direction. So I can't be anything but optimistic.